Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Tiny and Tidy. I'm Vishali and I am determined to motivate you to get your messy, disorganized space nice and tidy. Something that I've always wanted in my home is a mudroom. I absolutely love living in a small space and for those of you that are new here and aren't aware, we're a family of five living in an 850 square foot condo. But the downsides of living in such a small space is that we can't have a traditional mudroom. A place for all of our shoes, our jackets, hats, backpacks, etc. And as my three kids are getting older, I'm starting to notice more of a need for a mudroom. I've wanted one for a while, but just decided that it wasn't possible for us and gave up on the idea. That was until I listened to the audiobook, Simplicity Parenting. If you haven't read it, I'll link it in the description box down below. It is definitely one of my favorites and totally changed the way we do things around here. Anyway, the author mentioned the importance of giving a child their own space to hang up things like their coat, their backpack, etc. And speaking of children, um, baby Josh just woke up from his nap. I can hear him crying, so I'm going to head over there and get him and I'll be right back. Alright, say hi to baby Josh. Uh, he has a bit of a cold, so not in the best mood, but still smiling as always. Um, Alright, so back to the mudroom. I've also been an elementary teacher for many years and in kindergarten every child has a cubby and eventually gets a locker as they get older. Children love having their own space for their belongings and more importantly it really helps keep them organized. In the morning they know exactly where to find their things and it really helps speed up our morning routine. After school there's a designated spot for them to put all of their stuff and it doesn't end up on the floor or in some random place. So that's why I was determined to create some type of mudroom in our very small entranceway. After assessing the space and coming up with a plan, I got all of my supplies, which I will link in the description box down below. <laughs> Step one, clean and paint. The first thing I did was clean the walls in our main entranceway. I touch up the walls in our condo uh, about once a year, so I already had the paint at home. I simply applied a fresh coat of paint to all of the walls in this area. Uh, I like to stick to white when painting walls, whether it's in our own home or one of our rental units, I always have the walls painted white. It makes the space look bigger and I just like how clean and fresh it looks. Step two, shoe rack. We needed a little more shoe storage in this area, so I replaced the small wooden mat that we originally had with this shoe rack. Each family member can only keep one pair of shoes on this rack. All other shoes are put away in our closets. Step three, coat racks. I then mounted these coat racks on the wall. I got one for each child and installed it low enough so that they could easily reach it. They can have one coat, a hat, scarf, and their backpack on the hooks. All other items are put away in closets. My husband Kieran and I also hang all of our coats in the closet, but I do have one rack on the wall so that we can each hang a hat or scarf on it. And over the main door, bathroom door, and closet door, I've placed over the door coat racks. We use these when we have guests for the baby carrier, and Kieran and I will usually hang one coat on one of these hooks. Step four is label. The final step is to label each child's area with their name. They love having their own personalized spot and it ensures that all of their stuff always ends up on the right hook. I place one small chair under Isha's hook so that they have a spot to sit down to put their shoes on. Uh, the space is too small to give each child their own chair, but they're pretty good at sharing the chair. Usually. Most of the time. Okay, never. <laughs> So what we do is in the morning, if necessary, we'll just grab a second chair so that Kian will have a spot to sit as well while we get everyone ready to go. Yeah. I'm really happy with my mudroom solution and if you're in a small space, I recommend trying it out. Um, if you're in a larger space but haven't created these personalized cubbies, I highly recommend that you do. It's a very easy project and it'll help keep everything and everyone more organized. Another way to keep your family more organized is by creating a weekly schedule board. Make sure to check out that video to find out how. If you like the tips I shared in this video, make sure to hit that like button so that I'll know that you want to see more videos like this one. And also, follow me over on Facebook and Instagram because that's where I share daily tips and tricks all about organization, saving time, and simplifying your life.
Next week, I'm going to be doing a highly requested video. I will be giving you guys a house tour, or I guess I should say a condo tour. Um, so if you want to see how our family of five lives very comfortably in our 850 square foot condo, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when that video is posted. Are you overwhelmed and just can't find the time to get organized? Well, I'm working on a program called Clear the Clutter that will help you get organized step by step step. If you're interested in learning how to organize your entire home, implement organization systems that actually work, learn how to meal plan, create a detailed home maintenance and cleaning schedule, then sign up on the waitlist for my Clear the Clutter program. The link is in the description box down below. Once the program launches, you will be notified and provided with more information. Don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with someone that you know would find it useful. And if you like this video, be sure to check out one of these ones. They're full of tips and tricks that will help you get more organized. As always, thanks for watching guys and happy tidying. Bye!